Hello everyone, this is Ashrit from Learn Digital Academy. So till now, uh, we discussed on how to use stairs, how to play with the interface, how to use the basic shapes, uh, modifiers, windows, doors and all. So now, we will start with our basic elevation. The same normal process, go for file, import, import. So just find your plan, uh, where you have saved your plan. So currently I have a uh, one CAD file uh, that is DWG drawing, open it. If you want to rescale the size, so you have an option over here. You can rescale this thing we discussed on last sessions. So if you don't want, just click OK. Your plan will be placed uh, inside your area, working area. In the top view, select a plan. So here you can observe I have selected a plan. So it is uh, completely in the top view. So by pressing W, you can move your plan from one place to another place. So make sure select everything and then move. So because why I'm moving means I need to place my plan exactly on the grids. So in all the views uh, where you can observe dark black line, one is horizontal line and one is vertical line. We call it as a center of a working area. If you click on this home button, your grid will pop up. Your grid will appear. So our plan is exactly on the middle of your work area. So now uh, this is a duplex house. So duplex, uh, the staircase from the outside only. So you can observe a main door uh, in the entrance. So one bedroom, two bedroom. So two types of staircase they added. So one is from the outer end also they added and one is from the inside also they added. So depends on the requirement. Uh, they have an option to uh, use their elevations. So, what we need to do? Uh, the first thing you need to find which one is ground and which one is first floor. So, if here uh, as it is a duplex, so here you can see the kitchen is over here, living area is over here, and one bedroom is there, one puja room is there. So, that means this plan is our ground floor. So, let's create a walls. So, normally walls will be in a basic shape. Uh, that is uh, rectangles. So now what I will do. So here you can observe the shapes, right? Yesterday we discussed on shapes or last classes we discussed on the shapes. So click on the shapes. So use a rectangle. So draw a rectangle. So from this is a window area till this block. So then click on modify option. So click on extrude. In a modifier list you have an option of extrude. E X T. So I need a height of 10 feet apply 10 so then scroll down so here you can observe the wall the height of the wall is 10 feet okay so in the same way build a complete wall in a 360 degree so with interior if you have a wall so you have an option to build an interior wall also in the same way so build a wall so let's begin to create a walls so rectangle so click extrude so same 10 feet i need so th the first basic thing i am finishing up with the walls so then later i will start with uh, windows and doors extrude so you can observe so just draw the wall a complete 360 degree so later you can add a uh, windows and doors so just I'm using rectangle, I'm drawing and I'm using extrude option. So create a complete wall. You can use different different method. So this is one of the easiest method I'm showcasing. This is the place for ventilation. So small wall is there, you can observe. Actually, yes. So almost uh, the outer block walls are ready. So now I need to go with the inner blocks. Extrude. So if you want to change the extrude value, so once you click the extrude, so in the bottom you have an option how much height and how much 
uh, amount of extrude you need here you can decrease so now you can observe the ground floor walls are, are ready so now the inner part so that is inside so just draw walls so extrude so make sure you need to apply extrude otherwise your wall will not be in a height or a thickness so always so once you draw with the things you need to press or go for modify and apply extrude so this is your and the wall so the puja room so then bedroom is there so create a wall for the bedroom so I created complete thing in a single piece so later press extrude so we'll get all three in a single blocks so then here we have a uh, restroom so use so go for modifier apply extrude a complete wall portion is done so then kitchen a main door and wherever you have a ventilations we need to place a wall a 3 feet wall a middle is for our window area so now what you need to do you need to draw a wall of 3 feet so why i will show you so just draw a wall of 3 feet extrude amount i need a 3 feet so because next take a copy of this thing hold shift and drag up so i need to move this to the top exactly top that is i am moving a z axis in the z type 7 so top is 3 feet bottom is 3 feet this 4 feet gap is to place your windows so repeat the same process for all uh, window area extrude so then copy so z axis 7 so why i am using this part so exactly it will go and snap or swap to the complete mold uh, area so exactly it will match the distance over there so then rectangle extrude so then copy so 7 so this is our door area uh, the main entrance so for door no need of bottom piece so only top piece is enough for us so in this case what you need to do extrude it for 3 feet and directly move it to 7 so don't take a copy directly move it because it's a door area so wherever door you are placing so don't need a bottom wall just place a top wall so again rectangle so extrude copy move z axis to 7 feet see you will get a beautiful things so do this thing a complete house so maybe if it is a one floor maybe it is a two floor not an issue you can use this so extrude Control V if you press, it is a shortcut for copy. So, 7. So, then this is a ventilation area for your restrooms. So, now instead of 3 feet wall, I am placing it 5 feet wall. Right, normally uh, bathrooms and all 5 feet wall. So, then take a copy. So, move the same 7. So, in the top you can observe extra portion. So, 5 feet. 2 feet gap 7 feet plus 3 feet so that means you need to let's say for 3 so 3 feet plus 2 feet plus 5 feet is equal to 10 feet see a complete 
structure block is ready so with interior walls also okay so once it is done the next part is we need to place a doors and windows okay so we have a two floor so here you can observe two floor structure is there so what i will do so instead of uh, taking this so just for the purpose if you need a multiple floor building so take a copy of the same building if the plan is same similar building if the plan is same so now what i will do yes so first time create a doors and windows so then later take a copy so how to create a doors yes so last uh, we discussed on ac extended doors windows right door so i need a pivoted door so normally everywhere you will get a pivoted door only so just draw a door so click so height how much height you need so 7 feet normally height yes so give us 7 feet so if you want to give open so here you have open option open so i need to open in opposite direction flip ing yes so now you can observe i placed a door so then windows i need a sliding window so sliding window so draw a sliding window yes sorry wait so this one by me so i draw a sliding door so in the place of door you need to draw a door in the place of window you need to use a uh, windows so window sliding a uh, windows so make sure you need to concentrate on these things yes so now in modifier you have a option of open yes right so open so now it's opening up and down turn off the hung you can observe it's open sideways so just for reference purpose so just we need to showcase window is there that's why i'm using a window so place the windows or draw the windows in all the directions okay so repeat the process draw the windows in all the directions so you can observe i'm drawing the windows so this part you can use a normal window also or you can use a casement pivoted fixed so it's up to you uh, which window you need uh, you can draw so now there also i am using a sliding windows only so normally uh, it will be pivoted or having window so you can go with that uh, windows so sliding So yes, all the please uh, windows I have cleared it. So door. So just I want I don't want to open the doors and windows. So I will close it. So zero. So now I need a mold, right? The roof part we need to place. So just imagine this is a two floor or three floor building. So now I want to place a mold. So use a rectangle. So go back to shapes. A rectangle. So in the top view. So just draw one rectangle. hello mane le din ako lo anandu mukkal aned gante endi do irle irle ni anandu ore gelli irthiya ha avu elli bartara seri aayitu ni anandu ore ga logu nanu bartina ashtu Okay. so just go for the top view with the help of rectangle so draw one a complete mold a rectangle so maybe up to staircase if you want to draw yes of course you need to draw up to staircase because it's our roof so 
otherwise you can split the roof also so currently you can observe uh, just i have a, a roof so this one i am going to give a point 0.3 uh, like 3 inch so 3 inches of roof so you can give 6 inch you can give 9 inch uh, depends on the requirement so now you can observe it's completely filled okay so now the next step is what we need to draw a staircase so where in the same uh, parameters so go for stairs so this is a u u you can observe u shape so draw a u shape stairs so the first of all you need to draw width so from here to here so then up so w so place it so i need in the reverse direction not in this way i want to place in the reverse so here you have a option so left and right so you can interchange the next one is you need to flip completely in the top here you can observe one button called mirror so mirror it and just apply okay yes now i got a proper a direction exactly i got a proper direction so height i need till the roof right so increase the height first so overall light i need a 10 feet yes so little more height you can give so i will show, i will do a one by one the length so i need a closed stairs like this so then this part number of steps i need 21 steps so normally it will be 21 steps so now play with the length so length 1 and length 2 so like this yes so now you have a option you can see oh, very beautiful so now increase the height increase the height overall height yes this looks uh, clear so if you want to decrease the length uh, decrease the length so this is also fine and this is looks a decent the staircase part is done the next part is you need to add a grills right so you need to add a grills for your staircase so yesterday we discussed on or in the last session we discussed on how to use a, a railings so here we have a railing options so we easy extended so use a railing so but i need a railing exactly on this path so from year to year in this direction i need a railing so railings and all you can add in the later after the elevation design because few prefer a front elevation is completely with a closed object or front elevation is completely with a wood stones and all so later you can add a railing also uh, currently uh, you can leave the railing part empty so now the next step is so after raising so after staircase i need a platform right yes so we need a platform so again go back to your shapes so go for top view so from this part till the end of your plan and the staircase add one platform so platform means this area the roof area extension of the roof area because after staircase we need a landing right so give a same amount of extrusion that is 0.3 inches 3 oh, inches so now we have a landing area also we have a next pieces also so now the next thing is this is a two floor building or oh, this is a three floor building not an issue so go to exactly any one view so maybe front view or side view select everything take a copy if it is a similar take a copy so give number of copies i need to apply okay so you can observe the same structure with the same thing so everything similar everything same so normally apartments and all you can able to find in this way okay so now the design part so now according to the plan we designed or we build a walls right according to the plan we created a walls doors windows and all so now we need to plan for the outlook so what kind of outlook we need to give so if you give a different different outlook how it will 
look so which looks will give you a better output or a better option so we need to decide that so the first thing is for windows i need a frame yes so here the side window you can observe right so we need a frame so now what i will do so instead of drawing a single frame from top to bottom i will draw one frame so how so use a rectangle go to any side view where you can see a windows yes so here i can easily able to see the windows so just draw one frame from top to bottom with the help of rectangle so now all w so now you can observe one complete rectangle go for modifier in a rendering option just turn on enable in render enable in viewport so you can identify the thickness so change it to rectangle i need a length of of feet and a width of of feet so that is 6 inch by 6 inch so then place it like this so now you can observe a complete a window frame okay so take a copy of the same thing and please over here because both are similar both are same now you can observe i placed the side design so then we need to design the uh, top area the portico area balcony areas and the roof areas so design one by one one by one according to your ideas and concepts so this kind of designs whatever you do with the help of your own creativity we call it as uh, elevations so this is uh, elevation design so according to the plan everyone will build a uh, walls right so like partitions this is for bedroom this is for living area this is for kitchen and all so now you need to design the outlook outlook will attract you most so then the next part is what so let's here i need to design few thing from this part to this part in between i want to add a blocks so block means like a railing kind of things and all so how so just i will draw one box so maximum you can observe i'm doing everything with a box so where so here from this part to this part so draw a box so go back to different view so here you can observe the box right yes so how much thickness you need a give up thickness so in apartments and all you can see this kind of elevations very beautiful elevations height i need only 6 inches so how so 6 inches so only 6 inches so length is fine uh, not an issue so take a copy and please for your complete design so to take a multiple copies we discussed ra so tools ra so which direction z axis so number of counts 10 turn on the preview move your z axis like this so i need more so increase the number of counts so you can observe very beautifully with the preview i'm copying so decrease so one more yes so you can give n number of things with the help of array apply okay so now you can observe a very beautiful uh, elevation design for the side angle so side view looks decent and good so now the front part so where you can see staircase right that part so what i will do i want to add a complete wall so again i'm using a box so just i'm drawing one box so give a thickness so length is not there again uh, you can give 6 uh, inches a thickness height 10 plus 10 plus 10 so 10 feet 10 feet 10 feet so 30 feet so because three floor building right so 30 feet i want to showcase some part of uh, staircase so give a gap like this so increase the height more 35 feet yes see now what i will do so instead of width of 13 14 feet is there i will divide into three parts so left hand side a block right hand side a block middle portion 
I will fill with some design or some empty spaces and all. So 14, just imagine it's a 14 by 3 or you can make 7, uh, 14, right? So middle part, I need only 4 uh, feet gap. So I will take it as 5. So 5, 4, this end and 5, 4, this end. Okay. So a middle position, you can observe a gap. So then take a copy of the same thing, place it exactly in the middle, you can observe. So very beautiful thing. So very decently I am doing. So you guys are doing for first time, so keep a reference. So the basic wall height I need is 5 feet, the ground floor. So 5 feet height I need. So then take a copy. So this is for first floor. So from first floor, instead of 5 feet, I will go with a 4 feet. So 4 feet, the landing area. So then again take a copy and place over here. Yes. So again to the top, finish it up. Take a copy and finish it up. So now you can observe a gap. So in this place, you can place a railings, you can place a glass. You can place uh, whatever ideas you have, you can place, otherwise you can leave as a empty part also. So not an issue, okay. So one by one, one by one, we need to uh, create uh, elevation design. So this side, yes, this side also you need to fill. So I am going to take a copy, then I am rotating. So which angle Z axis, so 90 degree. So then place it properly. So exactly you need to place. So I don't want to leave I empty space means so place it. Otherwise for this portion also you can do similar thing like this a designing. So there here, there here and all you can give a empty spaces. The front portion almost it's done. So now the balcony area, I need a railings, uh, glass railings and all. The first part you need to draw is drop down. So from uh, mold level to one and a half feet or two feet, you need to give a drop down. So drop down means uh, inside, uh, if rain is there, it should not affect your doors and all, right? It should not enter into your windows and all. That part we call it as a drop down. So in the L shape, I need to draw a drop down. So here. So I'm using a line tool actually. So for the drop down, I'm using a line tool. Yes. So you can observe one point is in the top and one point is in the bottom. So go back to lines, vertex, individual points, we call it as vertex. Select that vertex and please, uh, where you need to place your drop down, you can move the things. Okay, so otherwise, very simple option if you're still uh, getting it confused. So take a copy of the same box only. So here you have an option. How much I need? I need one feet to two feet, right? So 1.6. So it's one and off. So place it over here. Just you need to move and place your drop down. So under the roof, exactly I need to place. Yes. So extend the sheep. So to extend the sheep, we have an option called FFD, free form, deform. So modifier list type F. So FFD 2 into 2 into 2, 2 points. Open this FFD panel, control points. So drag and move this. Done. See. Take a copy and place to the bottom blocks also. So copy and paste the uh, bottom part that is a drop down for all the floors. So ground floor, first floor, second floor. So finish in the both the side. So right hand side also you need to place it properly. So take a copy and then wherever you need uh, required places. So take a copy and place it. So copy, uh, rotate. So X axis, Y axis, Z axis, check. It is in Z axis. So that is 0 or 90. Yes. So then place it. 
the extra part you will get right so already we are using fft open that control points so move it and place it back so again repeat the process so one piece copy so again the second part we need to copy for the ground floor so finish so now this looks more decent this looks more pretty So now you can observe you are building in 360 view side, front, uh, top, bottom. So still a lot more things uh, we need to do. So one is the balcony design, then the roof design and then the painting part, materials and texturing part. So we'll discuss uh, one by one. Hope uh, the session was informative. We'll catch up in the next session.